What's up guys? I had to make this video just because I ran into this issue for not for not having authorization for my Amazon seller account. Um, I searched everything for YouTube and could not find anything relatable to this specific issue. So I am just trying to pay it forward for what happened. So if you obviously if you clicked on this video, you're having the same type of messaging where it says not authorized and it's blocking you from being able to get into your account. Um, really long story short, guys, uh, Amazon Seller Central does not really have a good phone number to call anymore. I guess they can discontinued phone service for the customer, so you have to email through your seller account in order to get a resolution. However, with this error message, you can't do anything inside of your account. Anything you click, you cannot do, you can change your password and you can log out and that's it. So it's not a login issue. You can log into the account, but then you get this screen. I'll show it to you here quick. That screen right there uh, basically is saying that you cannot do anything in your account. Um, I spent five hours on the phone trying to get a hold of somebody, uh, which was a fail over and over and over. Uh, I tried messaging from a different seller, somebody else's seller account to try to get a hold of somebody. They're not able to do anything because it's not related to that account. Um, and then I started reading forums, which it was really defeating reading those just because everybody's saying it's the blue screen of death. They can't sell on Amazon anymore, even if they start a new account, blah, blah, blah. And most likely, this is my situation, this happened to you because you changed banking information. So if you change banking information, it flagged this as an auth unauthorized transaction. So you might have gotten the email from Amazon saying there was unauthorized activity in the account and they restricted access. This is how you fix it. Here's the big one-two punch. Um, your IP address specifically is blocked um, so what you need to do is you need to completely reset your internet, reset your internet, reset all your devices and have a new IP associated to your devices. Unplug your router. If you have a reset button on your router, reset your router completely, reboot it up, reboot your devices and boom, you should be able to get back in. Um, when this error message does come, uh, you'll have to go in and re-put in correct banking information in order for your listings to come back. So that is the final thing, guys. If this helped you, please, you know, give me a thumbs up, a uh, comment of thank you, just so I know that this helps somebody. Um, I went through a lot with this one, and hopefully this helps somebody out there. Three-minute fix. There it is, guys. Thanks.